We're back with more Casty Path Traveler 2. So this is Winter Bloom. <coughs> According to my treatment log, I've been here before. <coughs> I have no memory of that visit, of course, <laughs> and yet, I... Alright. Hmm? It can't be. But it is. Uh... Casty! Casty, is that you? It might be. What's all this ruckus? <laughs> She's back! Miss Casty is back! Casty? No kidding? Welcome back, dear. We were all hoping to see your face around here again. Excuse me, but you recognize me? Huh? What are you saying? How could I forget you after all you did for us? I don't know, I forgot me. Oh, forgive me, but I have lost my memories. I came here in hopes of finding something that would jog my memory. Well, we'd all be happy to talk your ear off if it helps. All right, one moment. I gotta check something real quick. I had to mess around with some Google Docs and I, I just failed. I am terrible with Google Docs. A hunter who once let a minor injury fester for so long it left him bedridden. Casty narrowly saved him and made sure to give him a nice long lecture on the perils of procrastination once he recovers. Thank you. A woman utterly exhausted from taking care of her ailing mother. Casty's kind counsel helped her gather herself and see her mother off this mortal coil. She's passing on Casty's advice to other caretakers ever since. Thank you. A young girl who loves cooking and eating. She especially loves working with limited or leftover ingredients. Though her flavors are absolutely divine, her presentation duties work. That was very helpful. No, it wasn't. Casty discovered this woman had a malignant tumor when visiting the village as part of Heirs Apothecaries. She fortunately found it early enough to treat her and avoid a major health incident. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Just say the word, Miss Casty. I'd be happy to chat for hours. <laughs> so, come to think of it, a <clears throat> Lady Rosa was the one closest to you. Rosa. She's ruler of these lands. You'll find her in her manor in the northwest of town. Will I now? The big manor. Thank you for all your no. help. I'll go see her at once. Oh. And here I thought you would go see her at twice. <laughs> nah, I'm funny. Fight me? Eh, don't fight me. A shelter woman from an idyllic Conning Creek who moved to this town when she married her husband. Life in the deep snowy country has taught her that happiness does not come from opulence, but from gratitude. Thank you. Casty, is it you? It is. If it isn't Casty. This person seems to recognize me as well. <clears throat> I apologize for the sudden intrusion, but I would like to request an audience with Lady Rosa. 
Word of your coming has already reached us. This way, please. Yo, Rosa, who the hell am I? I already came into Rosa's banner and looted it. <laughs> Be at ease, Lady Rosa. Just Rosa will do. No need for formality between old friends. I have no idea who I am or even who you are. So it's true. You really don't remember. I do not. There's time for that later. You need medicine. I'll... No need. I already have some. This is the medicine you prepared for me. It is? Dozens of apothecaries saw me before you came. They all declared me incurable, a lost cause. And yet here you are still not being cured. You were different. I owe my life to your fortitude and skill. Oh. I'm glad to hear I was able to help you. Would you allow me to examine you? The medicine appears to be slowing the disease's progress, but your entire body is showing signs of mild paralysis. Paralysis. At this rate, you won't last another month. I'm aware. Only a few grains of sand remain in my hourglass. Yet, I wish to live just a little longer. Rosa. Mother, I brought your medicine. Casty? Child. It's me, Malia. It's been so long. Ah, yes. Child. <laughs> I've gathered balm leaves from the herb garden every day, just like you told me. Garden? What garden? The one you planted for us, for Mother. Ah, yes. I did do A that. Garden. With the right herbs, I may be able to craft a special elixir for Rosa. But she's already Can dying. Can you show me to this garden of yours? Of yours? It would be my pleasure. The garden is next to the house. I'll go ahead and unlock it. Rest easy, Rosa. I'll be back soon. How is Lady Rosa? Not great. I won't mince words. She doesn't have long. Nevertheless, she's fighting with all her strength to hold on. <sighs> Lady Rosa suffers for the sake of her family and her legacy. Malia is still a mere child of 11 years. In the laws of our land, she cannot inherit her mother's estate until she is twelve. If the lady perishes before her daughter comes of age, her lands and her title will pass to her next nearest kin. So Rosa wants to pass on her estate to Malia. That's why she's so desperate. I'll do everything I can for her. I promise you. I'll see that Rosa's hopes do not crumble around her. Hmm.
couldn't Rosa technically get um, transfer the title of her estate over to Lily, who can then transfer it to Malia when she turns 12? Butler to the Glenville family, who oversee the town of Winterbloom. She has followed Rosa like a shadow since her ladyship was young. Though a woman of few words, she has served Rosa extremely well over the years. That was bad. These plants are well tended. I know, I'm amazing. I've taken care of them every day, Casty, just like you taught me. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a good daughter, Malia. <laughs> Thanks. May I take some cuttings? I need them to mix an elixir for your mother. I mean, you planted them. Help yourself. <clears throat> Rosa is growing weaker by the moment. Before long, she'll be completely paralyzed. But I know just the thing for her. Scale bark leaf, snow grass. Can't forget the bloodberry. You can never have enough bloodberries. <laughs> I should ask Malia where they are. I need to gather medicinal herbs for Rosa and quickly. <clears throat> Can I help? I need to keep moving or else I start getting all twisted up. Sure, thanks, Agnia. Casty, what about this blue flower? We don't need that right now. Okay, so how about this red mushroom? Very poisonous, unless boiled. I'd wash your hands extremely thoroughly. Poison? What's a dangerous place like, like that doing in a mushroom like this? <laughs> huh? Why are you laughing? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I was just thinking that it's your tongue that ended up all twisted. Nah. <laughs> this garden is magnificent. You seem quite excited about it. I am. My homeland is a desert, if you recall. Gardens are rare there, especially ones so fair and lush with flowers. This garden isn't just for show. Every single plant, flower, and vine here has a purpose. Each possesses a beneficial property that can be used to save lives. Pleasing to the eye they are, and filled with sweet kindness, too. One day I would love to plant a garden like this for my friends in Ku. <laughs> Your heart is as kind as any plant here. Rosa's daughter and heir to the house Glenville the moment she turns 12 of age. She strives to be like her mother in both public and private spheres, a feat that requires no small amount of effort. Thank you. I've got all the ingredients I need now. All that's left is to concoct Rosa's medicine. And concoct, we did. There, that should do it. Thank you, Malia. Thank you, Casty. Hey, Casty? Is Mother. Is <clears throat> she gonna die? Yep. <sighs> I won't lie to you, Malia. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Thanks for being honest. I've been with her all this time and watched her getting weaker. I expected this. Even after she became bedridden, she still put our town above all else. I... I want to follow in her footsteps. I want her to know her spirit will live on in me. <laughs> Why do I have to wait until I'm 12? Oh, rats. I shouldn't have wasted your time while Mother still needs you. 
It's fine, it's fine. It's all right, Malia. And I promise you, I'll do everything in my power to see your wish comes true. Come on. Your mother is waiting. Probably gonna be dead by the time we get there. Oh dear, Oswald, your eyes are bloodshot. Hold on one moment. I'll whip up some eye drops. That won't be necessary. Oh, double deer, you sound all stuffed up. I hope you haven't caught a cold. My physical condition is optimal. Were you crying? That girl's earnest passion seems to have stimulated my tear ducts. How peculiar. Oswald. It's not peculiar. The answer is quite simple. It's because you have a kind heart. <laughs> Oswald is the best. <laughs> Greg, what are you doing here? Probably poisoning you. Is that any way to treat a guest? I'm here to see how our dear sickly Rosa's doing. Oh, this music makes me think, yeah, she's definitely poisoning her or some shit. Bad cough, huh? You don't look so good. Worse than the last time I came by. He's probably her next of kin trying to kill her to get Why the not estate. Just die already? Don't worry. I'll look after your lands and... What an asshole. Who in the hells are you? I'm her doctor. It's Casty. Don't you recognize her? Casty? Oh, yes. That healer. One of those heirs apothecaries. You've wasted your time here. Rosa's going to bite it, and... There's nothing you can... How can you be such an insensitive piece of shit? Enough! I will not permit you to insult our guest, Greg. Hey, no need to get all snippy. All I'm saying is... All I'm saying is shut the hell up. If you have something to say, you'll address it to me. I am the lady of this house. Damn, Malia. Ugh. Fine. I've had my fill of this place for today, anyway. I feel like he is poisoning her. Speaking of which, I'm a guest in your house, too. You can at least see me to the door. Bet you know where it's at. Very well. If you'll follow me. Lady Malia, are you sure? No trust. Of course. I shall handle this. Malia is like top-tier daughter. <laughs> Why'd that healer have to show up now? Mm, I'm like triple sure he's poisoning her. I am sorry you had to see that. Greg is my nephew. Your nephew's a piece of shit. He's not a bad man. He simply wants to change this town for the better. The hell do you mean he's not a bad man? He told you to up and die already. Yet, he is too hasty. He plans to force his vision upon the people, and in his hurry to help, ignores their needs. So that's why you're so desperate to have Malia inherit your title. Forgive me. But I think I need to rest now. <coughs> Rosa. Here's better medicine. I've made an elixir for you. It should ease your pain. I bet she's gonna sniff that other vial of medicine. And uh, find out there is poison in there. Here, drink deep. Thank you, Casty. I'm already feeling better. I recommend you get some rest. Sleep will aid the medicine in its work. <laughs> you haven't changed one whit, Casty. What was it that you always said? Ah, yes. 
I only wish to extend a helping hand to all in need. All in need, indeed. Even without your memories, you are still the same old Casty. Rosa. Casty, if I may have a word. Something going on with Melia and Greg? I found this out front. A letter? He kidnapped Malia. Apothecary, we have Malia. If you ever want to see her again, come to the tavern in the thieves' quarter. Alone. Malia. I've searched the whole manor and there's no sign of her anywhere. Oh dear. Oh dear. What will I tell Lady Rosa? Nothing, because we're going to get a wreck. Where is the tavern they spoke of in a letter? On the north side of town. But the thieves' quarter is too dangerous. People get robbed there. You can't mean to... I can, and I do. I do. I intend to rescue her. But... Stay with Rosa and don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I'm awesome. Casty. I can make poisons and shit. <clears throat> Yoink. Thieves quarter. Take that. Good night. Good night. Some super weak stuff here, but I'll take it. <laughs> eh. Malia, we're about to get ambushed by some dudes. Now, now, not another step. What have you done to Malia? Oh, don't worry about her. I'm a pacifist at heart. I gave her a little something to put her to sleep. You're a bastard now. What do you hope to gain by this treachery? Oh, that's easy. Mm. I want you to stop ministering to Rosa and get out of my town. Not your town. You want that title that badly? I'm a visionary. I'm going to turn this backwater burg into a thriving metropolis, like Clockbank. But that fool Rosa is too stuck in the past to see the future. Eventually, I started thinking I could do a better job than her. I could change this town. So you started poisoning her. You would pressure her now. When she's battling a mortal illness? It's for her own good. She should give the town to me and retire, so she can focus on recuperating. Bullshit, shut up. I've almost got her convinced, but you're going to ruin all my hard work. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Leave, and I promise I'll send Malia home. Or I can kick your ass and take her. Ugh. 
Blah, blah, blah. Could you shut up already? Let's get to the point. You want this busybody gone, right? There's an easier way to make her disappear. Uh, hold on. What are you planning? Depends on what she values more. Her money or her life. Stop! I hired you to stand there and look menacing. Nothing more. If you walk out that door right now, I'll pretend like none of this ever happened. Mick! Mac! Yeah, yeah boss? boss? Little Miss Tough Girl here is on her way out of town. Show her the boot and take her purse for the trouble. Oh, you wish you could. Time to shine. <laughs> Big hammer. Thank you. Now then. Oh. Oh, she already almost did. Never mind. Prepare yourself. Bye bye. now. <laughs> There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. Yawn, easy peasy. As yeah, as yeah. wasn't supposed to happen. Well, that's what you get for being a bitch. It's not my place to judge you for your crimes. Examine your deeds and your heart, and if you find them wanting, become a better person. Tell Rosa what happened here. <laughs> Malia, are you all right? I am now. Thanks, Cassidy. Anytime, child. Let's go home, shall we? Your mother must be worried. I cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us, Casty. I need no thanks. I merely did what was right. Here, your medicine. You'll stay in bed and rest now, understood? Get the hell out of here, Greg. Melia Glenville's 12th birthday. It's also the day her mother dies. Mother. 
Lily. Yes, my lady. I thank you for your loyalty to House Glenville. Lady Rosa, don't leave us. Greg. You're a piece of shit. Yes. I leave our town in your hands. Yours and Malia's both. Oh, Rosa, you fool. Listen to our people. Care for them. And make our home a better place. I will. I promise. So you promise me we'll see it together. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Cas T Rosa. It looks like Rosa has something she wants to talk about. I should inquire and give her a chance. Indeed. The ruler of Winterbloom, she suffers from an incurable disease, though the medicine she takes helps prolong her life. Her daughter, Malia, is to succeed her when she comes of age. So Rosa is determined to live until her dear daughter's birthday. So it's not going to be incurable disease. Oh, Malia. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Casty. Rosa. Do you think I'll last until my daughter's birthday? Be strong, Rosa. You want to live to see Malia follow in your footsteps, right? Mm. I do. <clears throat> but that is only what I want for her as head of my household. Hmm? What I really want for my child is for her to be happy. <laughs> When I admit it aloud like that, I find that I no longer care a fiddle about the succession. I just want to live long enough to celebrate her birthday one last time. Nothing more. Rosa. Thank you. It's thanks to your skill that I still draw breath. No, Rosa. It's not my skill that sustained you, but your own strength. Malia. I have a present for you. On your deathbed, that's nice. Happy birthday, my angel. Thank you, mother. I'll cherish it always. I promise you, I'll grow up to be a kind and just ruler, just like you. So don't worry about me, mother.
nasty. Do you really have to go so soon? I... I wanted to thank you for everything you did for my mother. I promise you, I'll continue to tend the garden. Those herbs will be used to heal all who need them. <laughs> I know you'll be a kind and just leader, Malia. Oh, I almost forgot to ask. How is Mr. Trousseau? Mr. Grau? Trousseau? He was such a nice man. It'd be lovely to see him again. Oh, don't tell me you forgot all about him, too. I've never heard that name before. I wonder who he could be. I'm doing glad about Mr. Trousseau. Yeah, I'm not crying, you're crying. Malia met a young man by the name of Trousseau when Cassie and the rest of Earth's apothecaries came through Winterbloom. Malia had never met someone so kind of heart, and the two of them soon grew close. Yeah, you guys are crying. I'm not crying. Hey, Mr. Trousseau? Yorna, she... She died. That makes me really, really sad. My little sister had a good life. If mommy died too, I... I... There, there, Malia. I'm sure your mother will be better in no time. She has me caring for her, after all. Oh, no. Is True Soul the one who's poisoning people? I think he poisoned her. That's why she died. I have to save her. I have to save her. I won't let Malia cry. I can't. I promised Yorna. But Rosa's illness is incurable. And I've only just begun studying the healing arts. Damn it. Damn it! I'm worthless. Worthless! Huh? Who are you people? Heirs Apothecaries. We heard someone named Rosa was in need of healing. And it is our purpose to extend a helping hand to all those in need. I remember now to extend a helping hand to all those in need. That was our creed, the driving purpose of Heirs Apothecaries. So then how did it get so twisted? It was in this town I met that young man named Trousseau, but just who was he? It's no use. My memory is a blank. Well, more adventures then. It was something important. I remember that much. But what? <sighs> I won't remember anything sitting here. I need to continue my journey if I'm to have any hope of recovering what was lost to me. <sighs> and so our journey shall continue. In a frozen town, surrounded by snow, Cassie discovers a fragment of who she used to be. To extend a helping hand to all those in need, the heirs apothecary's creed, and a thread that will guide her to her lost memories. Though a piece by piece she is resembling her past or reassembling her past, what will she find when the puzzle is complete? Who knows? 
Square Enix known. Sigh and winter bloom. Names discovered in my log, and gleaming waystones to guide me on my journey. Indeed. Visiting those towns jogged loose forgotten memories. Memories of my life before, of when I was one of Air's apothecaries. of that rain evil rain ah malaya what are you doing here you know just being a hallucination it's been a slow process but i've remembered some of what i'd forgotten we knew each other once didn't we I was the chief. Yes, we did. Like you, I was part of Air's Apothecaries. Why did you lie to me? Why did you pretend not to recognize me? Reasons, chief. Tell me, Malaya. Can't do that, chief. I can't answer that, Casty. The village of Helix. Ring a bell? Helix? That's where we were based. This memory. I'll be waiting for you there. Malaya? Who the hell is she? Helix. Is that where I'll find Air's Apothecaries? What happened there? More evil purple rain, probably. <sighs> I can't remember. I need to see for myself. It's the only way to remember everything. Cool. Well, that'll be where we go next time. Until then, everybody.